Diagnosing vehicle faults is only as hard as you make it, so it's a great idea to arm yourself with some quality diagnostic equipment. An oscilloscope is an essential tool for the modern workshop. G'day, I'm Zach, and welcome to AutoMate. Using other equipment, such as a Noid light or spark tester when looking for a fault, only presents half the story. The best tool to use for voltage or current monitoring is an oscilloscope. It can provide electrical signal data, which is vital when trying to diagnose a fault. When presented with a misfire, the scope can reduce the amount of time needed to isolate the fault to a system, whether it be compression, ignition, or fuel. This is a big plus, as older model vehicles don't have the ability to log misfire-related fault codes that are normally found using a scan tool. Traditionally, the first check we would perform is a compression test. Unfortunately, this is not always feasible due to the engine design, construction, and especially when the vehicle has just been driven for the past hour. The last thing we wanted to do is remove the spark plugs to perform a compression test, as this could cause damage to the cylinder head. A lot of manufacturers recommend not to remove the spark plugs until the engine drops to a set temperature. So, let's perform a compression test with the oscilloscope. Although this isn't as accurate as a mechanical gauge, the outcome of this test will determine what the next step in our diagnosis will be. Again, I can't stress how important it is to use a battery maintainer. It's critical to ensure a stable voltage when performing these tests. As you can see by our results, the mechanical side appears to be okay. If there was a problem here, we would need to use a mechanical compression gauge and retest all cylinders the old fashioned way. To check out the rest of this module and our extensive video library, head to our website and get access to the most advanced automotive technical training available.